my name is Dr. Jessica Lofgren, and today I am joined by Dr. Joe Clark. Dr. Clark, how are you doing today? I'm good, Jessica. How are you? I am doing great. Thank you so much for being here today. We're so excited to talk to you. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. So my name is Joe Clark, Dr. Joseph Clark. I'm a uh, professor of neurology at the University of Cincinnati. Uh, I am a PhD professor, but I do see patients um, for neurodiagnostics, per se, and neurorehabilitation. I also am the person who helps take care of and manage the university athletes should they have a concussion. Um, I kind of specialize in traumatic brain injury, acquired brain injury, which includes stroke, TBI, that type of thing. Uh, so I'm very brain centric um, and do clinical work as well as research work. Awesome, awesome. And so I had been up there for you before for the University of Cincinnati football camp and seen some amazing stuff that you are doing. But we're on here today to talk about the International Symposium on Clinical Neuroscience. You're going to be this, there this year and you're going to be sharing some information with us. What topic did you choose to discuss this year and why? Well, what I'm going to be talking about is what I like to refer to as the eye-brain axis. I am very brain centric, but the eyes provide a lot of information to the brain. And we've seen both with our athletes for performance enhancement and with our patients for uh, injury rehab and re recovery that the eye brain axis can often go wrong and needs to be rehabilitated through what's often referred to as vision training. However, many people, uh, uh, lay people as well as technical people, if you say vision training, they often think of what we do with little kids who have a weak eye, like a three-year-old that's eyes are, whose eyes aren't aligned. That is vision training. That is a component of what we do. But being in neurology and very brain-centric, we do neurovisual training to help those people get better. And I mean people who have traumatic brain injury, people who have stroke, as well as athletes to help them be better and safer on their fields of uh, competition. Great. So what you're going to pretty much uh, be teaching us at this symposium this year is what exactly that neural vision training is and how you've had so much, so much success with your athletes at the University of Cincinnati. I know you have a great track record of not having concussions or having a very low incidence of concussions with your team members. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we uh, initiated the neurovisual training with the football team uh, the summer of 2010. And every year where we've done uh, the neurovisual training with the football team, we've had a very low concussion rate. The national average is on the order of 10 concussions per year per team. Um, and that was our average in 2006, 7, 8, and 9. Since 2010, we've been averaging 2.14 concussions per year. And that's been sustained with the exception of one year. We had a new coach um, one year. And he came in and discontinued the vision training, and we went back to 10 concussions. And, and no disrespect to any coach, you know, they make decisions. And then he reevaluated the value of the vision training, reinitiated it, and we went back down to two concussions or 2.14 concussions per year. So it is sustainable, and there appears to be a kind of washout, if you will. And I'll be talking a little bit more about that um, at the ISCN as well. Well, Dr. Clark, that is absolutely incredible. We are so excited to hear more from you at the International Symposium this year. If you'd like to hear more about what Dr. Clark is doing and hear about his topic this year, please visit our website at www.iscn2019.com and attend our International Symposium on Clinical Neuroscience happening May 24th through the 26th in Orlando, Florida. Dr. Clark, thank you so much again for joining us today. Thanks, Jessica, and I'm looking forward to May.